So we were lucky enough to be contacted by the Carmenita Middle School Model UN class. They um, held a book donation um, that was school-wide. They collected over 500 books, I understand. Um, so their students actually wrapped all of the books and brought them over to Hawaiian Elementary to pass out to our lower grade students and also to engage in a holiday activity with the kids. So it's teaching the Model UN kids. Um, it's their civic project, which is fantastic. It's also teaching them what it's like to run a classroom. And it's giving our students the opportunity to interact with older students as well as do some hands-on crafts. This is the first time that they do something um, so closely with a school site because not only are they bringing the book donations, but the kids are actually in our classrooms working with our students. Well, it's Anjin. Kaylee. Mia. Gina. Um, we decided to um, collect some books from our local school and then donate it to the kids here because we really emphasized how important books, like reading books are. So what we did, we kind of broke up into teams of who would advertise, who would promote, just stuff like that. And what we did is students from our school would go to their homes and they would gather books either from their stuff that they already had Providing books and knowledge is extremely important because I think everyone deserves to, you know, learn and have a fun time. A lot of them were excited or they were mostly curious, I feel like, especially when they saw the presents, like, as a kid. Their project that they did for their civic engagement project for this year was a children's book drive. So our goal was 500 books. They almost touched 900 books. We brought it over here, wrapped them. We planned to read aloud, a craft, and then a game and it's 100% student-led by them, and I'm incredibly proud of them. So there's three things. Number one, we want to be able to give back to the ABC Unified community uh, to be a blessing to them and, and to be able to really just make their lives better. Number two, we want to empower our students uh, with choice and ownership over not just curriculum in the classroom, but being a positive influence in their community. And then number three, that they would learn some various skills that would be translatable, not just in a classroom, but also in real life. I know I said it last year, but it's amazing what students are able to accomplish when we give them supports and encouragement and empower them to just take ownership over their learning.